Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> it's Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, go ahead and smash that like button, y'all, if you enjoy these readings. And a personal reading link is in the description box below. Okay, so we're going to take a look at your weekend here and see what messages will show up for your weekend. These are readings for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And... Yeah, this weekend is going to be for May 17th through the 19th. So, let's see what's up. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. <clears throat> Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for my Virgos. Also, you guys can follow me on TikTok. I am uploading over there now. All right, you have fire sign. You have distance. And you have manifest. Okay, so Friday... Virgo, fire sign showing up here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or Friday, anytime through the weekend, but we're kind of looking at Friday, so let's take a look here and see what the energy is, what's, who is this person, who's coming towards you, maybe you already know, or you have a connection with this person, but there's something here on a Friday, <clears throat> oh shit, Virgo, what? You're getting a love offer on Friday. A romantic proposal. Wow, Virgo. Do you have a date? If not, you might. <laughs> um, or spending, uh, having a romantic start of the weekend to happen here. Okay. Night. Uh, sh prin Prince or Princess Charming showing up here. Romance and proposals. Wow. Okay. So, first of all, could be a Leo. Um, this person, let me just tell you, I I'm hearing say yes, say yes, say yes, please say yes. Somebody's going to ask you out or ask you to do something that's romantic. Say yes or go on a trip with me. Um, this strength card gives me this real strong sense of this person is um, very like courageous, like they have bravery about them. They're very brave, which, you know, hey, that's fire sign energy. They just, they're just like, they don't lack courage. Fire signs are just, they go get what they want. So, uh, yeah, that's what I feel like is happening here. Um, you know, this person could be someone who's <clears throat> kind of muscular or they have a lot of strength. Maybe they do lift weights or they, they're in fitness or something. Um, some of you might actually meet this person like at a park or something or somewhere where there's an where there's animals or pets like people walking their dogs you know what i mean you start talking with someone someone comes over to help maybe your your dog like i don't know if you haven't like if you have a dog your dog gets a hold of a squirrel and you're like come on open your mouth like oh that squirrel <laughs> somebody comes over to help there's definitely a uh, connection here with a fire sign all right and for some of you you might meet this person online or you could meet them there's a connection to storytelling or books or writing as well um, or you could meet them if you're traveling or you're going somewhere this weekend for some of you your cat it could be your cat like your cat gets out your cat gets out of the house because that is a lion you know he's he's got something in his mouth he caught a bird cat caught a bird or a mouse or something and <laughs> somebody's coming over to try to help you with something i don't know it's so odd it's so like a hallmark kind of thing but let me just get some clarifying cards here oh wow winner winner chicken dinner wow this looks like it's gonna be really good this person's coming in as a hero they're gonna save the day <laughs> they're gonna help you with something and and just be like like you know the six of wands this is like someone who's like rec recognition success or someone who's who's like here i come to save the day <laughs> I don't know what's going on here, but Virgo, um, you, and you know what? I see you also, so I don't know what you're doing. Somehow, I mean, I feel like you get yourself, like you're all dressed up, for sure. You're looking good on Friday. You're looking good. Um, some of you might be going to see a movie with someone. 
like an action movie. I just heard that with somebody or just some type of movie. I don't know. I just feel like you're all dressed up. You're doing something on Friday. If you're going somewhere or this person just sees you as being like, you know, the nine of pentacles is the Virgo card. That's, that's luxurious. You know, that's someone who's like off enjoying their, so you're alone doing their, enjoying their solo pleasures. And you know, if you're the Virgo, that's kind of like, when are you going to meet someone? People come in when you're not paying attention and you're not longing for it. So, you know, if you're just that person, <clears throat> like, <clears throat> excuse me, you're just going to the grocery store or, you know, you're going to go get some cat food or dog food or you're just going to the park or you're just doing your own solo pleasures and enjoying the things that you like to do for yourself and you're not paying anybody any mind, anybody attention. That's when somebody comes in, masculine or feminine, okay? So Friday looks, it feels like a new, like a love offer. It could be somebody you already know, you already have a connection with as well, but it, you know, because, like, I don't have anything new. I do have, like, an out with the old, in with the new kind of vibe. But there's nothing, there's no card here that talks about new. It doesn't mean it's not going to be somebody new. It could be somebody you already know. All right. So, that's Friday. Now, what's going on? Saturday, you have distance. You and your partner may be physically or emotionally distant. Okay. Let's take a look what's the deal you and another person it could be in a long distance relationship with somebody um or f like so physically distant from each other could be mo emotionally distant at the same time let's take a look now when i say partner it could be a, a lover it could be a friend you and your friend might not be talking right now or maybe there's no communication or a sibling or a family member <clears throat> whoever your sidekick is all right wow looks like there's gonna be uh, somebody breaking their silence okay or, or talking right so if you're physically distant from somebody or emotionally distant or there's whatever this gap is there's like a long space there's new conversation that's starting with this person trying to heal something. I feel like somebody's kind of, you know, here like wounded warrior. They, maybe somebody owes you an apology or they just want to clear the air. Um, Aquarius energy. It is It is with the star. Renewal. Hopeful. Be hopeful about something. Um, it may. This could be somebody with the star can represent. Um someone who's in the spotlight as well okay so this could be someone in the spotlight who comes in and tells you some kind of truth and it may be related to this distance <clears throat> let me see there's hope there's hope um okay so part of this distance has to do with distraction or working okay definitely somebody's hopeful to have to talk to you and, and overcome some type of obstacle with you on Saturday. And I feel like there's going to be some type of communication in regards to that. Masculine or feminine, like I said. And you do have the Queen of Cups and Judgment. So there is a desire for reconciliation. So this could have something to do with, like I said, Aquarius, Pisces. Could be a Cusper, <clears throat> Cancer. Could be a Scorpio. We do have Judgment here. But there is... Uh, closing the gap on some kind of distance between you and another person and this person they start the communication with you on Saturday sometime on Saturday you get where you'll hear something this reading is going to be really short because I'm a little bit under the weather and I just kind of want to go lay down um, manifest tell the universe exactly what you want so Saturday Look, we got some praying hands here. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Sunday. Sunday's a day for, I feel, setting your intentions for the week. Sunday is a day for coming into alignment with spirit. Let's take a look. What are you setting your intentions or what does Virgo need to set their intentions for this week? Um, co-parenting, being able to co-parent with someone this week in regards to a child. Um, being able to be someone 
who can do a job, whether that means you're training for something um, and doing well on the job this week. Oh my gosh, it's like a lawnmower. Could be, um, <coughs> excuse me, like I said, you training on the job are you training another person or being able to be focused at school or helping someone with school, being a teacher as well? Um, this has a lot to do with like capability. So setting your intentions of I'm going to do this this week and I'm going to focus really hard on what I need to do this week. Okay. Um, you also have the eight of cups. So some of you i will tell you some of your intention or manifestation <clears throat> what i feel like someone here may need to do is retreat and get to work or retreat pull back the energy move on deal with some kind of abandonment issue or something on sunday some of you just need to meet up with a friend and make plans to go somewhere together on a retreat or go hiking, or go walking together, or maybe even start a walking program for yourself. Um, but there's also this manifesting a healing uh, relationship, and you know, kind of like talking to spirit and asking them to bring someone into your life who is an equal to you. You know, where you guys are compatible, but there's also like a healing, loving energy between you or someone new. Now, you could also be asking um, the universe or God or spirit if this fire sign that you connect with over this weekend, if this is the right person for you. So I kind of feel like Sunday is a lot about setting intentions, telling the universe what you want, having those conversations with God, talking about you know what you want and what you're hoping for and asking for guidance and really focusing mostly <laughs> and keeping that devil because look giving you the strength and the fortitude to stand up to that toxic energy now the devil card does represent capricorn so it could be a capricorn not all capricorns are toxic but you know the devil does represent that or freedom from bondage some of you Maybe you're going to start something this week, which you're giving up some addictions or some people are helping you, you know. Um, you do have someone showing up on Sunday or will be part of your success this week that will be an air sign. Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person is a straight shooter. They shoot straight from the hip. They're very honest. You have a decision to make perhaps on Sunday um, or this week and conversation with this queen of swords is going to stand up for you against any of your toxic thinking and it's going to just kind of shoo that devil energy away which represents as always addiction greed envy materialism obsession sexual lust things that um what is it called like um my brain i can never access things <laughs> the 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 you know greed lust envy whatever it's called i can't remember but um or the i guess the seven deadly sins i don't know or you're getting clear with yourself about that toxic energy like not letting that stuff rule your life this week it feels like sunday is really kind of sitting with yourself praying meditating maybe do some yoga whatever go to church whatever you do just or sit by a tree enjoy the weather sunday is just all about you i feel like sunday is just let me take a look at how this week went this past week let me take a look at what's coming up for me this week what i want to do how i'm going to get organized some of you just might be like putting your clothes in the dryer and they're like tumbling doing your laundry you know taking it easy organizing planning what you need to do and just saying devil's not going to get me this week and really just kind of i don't know Virgo. i just feel like you're in control either another person helps you gain control or clarity um of this this some kind of toxic energy that you either come to realize or you know you have and you just want to get rid of it or somebody helps you with that but look at this i mean the this queen of swords which can represent you is basically telling the devil off you know even if you're connecting with somebody new here um some virgos might have like an atta attachment style where they're very anxious and you might be realizing that that's toxic and just kind of having a conversation like you met somebody nice on friday 
and just leave it be don't let this devil energy take control be logical and reasonable with yourself um just let things flow and try to in be on guard and you know don't be a doormat but don't get too attached to somebody oh don't get attached to somebody that you um don't know can i call you back i'm actually recording right now that's okay i'll call you right back all right bye so let's take a look and see what the chinese sign is going to be showing up here your chinese sign we're going to take a look okay um or yours or, or the person you're connecting with over this weekend you have year of the goat year of the horse or it could be both of you or neither year of the pig year of the rabbit sorry about that you guys got that phone call I accidentally hit the button and i didn't mean to year of the monkey god i'm so busy today i got lawnmowers going right it's like i'm recording this right now it is 6 p.m who the hell is mowing their lawn at 6 p.m on a thursday and then my phone's ringing like um okay year of the tiger year of the rat year of the snake it's been quiet all day and it's always the way it goes once you get busy virgo right once you get busy with doing what you're doing people are calling people are hanging around this is what happens okay all right let's get into some charms and see what's charms and numbers and all that good stuff all right, so you've got a Virgo, Pisces, 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 holy, holy, three Pisces. Oh my goodness. Well, hmm, or someone has Pisces in three places. That's pretty big deal. All right, September 10th showing up here. Somebody's a veterinarian or a vet or works with animals. Okay, someone's 51, someone's 58. Somebody's name is Levi. All right, give me a second here so I can sort all this out. Somebody could be 67 or 66. All right, someone's 44 or 40 or 45, 32. Someone's 49. All right, we have 1985, 1988, significant years. 1966, 1967. Okay, August 29th. Oh, I have to sneeze. Um, August 31st. September 10th. September 6th. September 14th. September 19th. Okay. A significant month. July. July is going to be a very significant month for you, Virgo. What's going to happen in July? I don't know all right <laughs> be careful i just heard with your leg somebody said be careful with your leg okay <clears throat> also um oh someone's a goalie i just heard someone's a goalie so i don't know what that means goal somebody hits the goal wins the goal or is a goalie or makes the goal um february significant month past obviously okay someone wants to see you again i just heard somebody wants to see you again um all right someone lives either in or near log a log cabin or log cabins oh i just they gave me the name gavin <laughs> it's weird gavin g-a-v-i-n that lawnmower guy comes back i swear i'm gonna punch him okay someone says geez like that's their go-to phrase oh geez geez <laughs> um okay gag me with a spoon so grody okay someone is asian um and also i see eggs so either someone is collecting eggs from a chicken coop or is just eating eggs or making a dish with eggs um I hear AV, AV. Um, I don't know. I feel like your leg, somebody's leg and their loin area. Somebody pulls a muscle this weekend or has pulled a muscle. So I feel like I need to tell you to be careful. Um, somebody eats waffles. 
like oh my god i would love to have waffles right now it would have to be completely have no carbs in it though but i love my waffles <laughs> like well done crunchy as f soft in the center loaded with butter and syrup mm, mm, mm. and i could go for that right now okay anyway i'm just hungry um let's see oh and i see um legos also <laughs> legos or leggings there's connection to legos and connection to somebody's wearing leg leggings someone's getting their visa over this weekend or is thinking about getting their visa and also someone needs to check their vin number on their vehicle their vehicle identification number you're gonna need that i just heard you're gonna need that all right let's get into the charms <laughs> this is crazy all right, what do we have? Do you guys like my spoon? I now have a spoon. Oh my goodness, a lion. What? You did have a lion. You had strength there. There's a Leo showing up over this weekend as well. And somebody's, um, maybe you're taking your cat, if you have a cat, taking your cat to get groomed or taking a cat to the vet. Oh, uh, you also have a horse. I have a symbol, a music symbol. So what is going on here? All right. Wild horses couldn't drag somebody away, Virgo. Somebody. Coming in like a horse, like even on a horse, that knight in shining ar armor. Um, prince or princess charming, definitely. Now, you could just be someone who rides horses, or you have horses around, or you're betting on the horses, or betting on the races over this weekend or maybe you're gonna ride a horse this is a beautiful horse oh my gosh um somebody's from the uk and also um from the middle east i just they just told me so i believe horses are from the middle east i do believe them they're like the arabian knights were on the horses okay so like i said you got a lion here you could be on the cusp of leo virgo this could be your reading as well and there is a connection to music so you might be going to a concert or go into a show or um, either in one or going to see one or listen to a concert, a connection to music this weekend, um, playing, participating in some way, definitely music, definitely um, music on the um, music, music on tap for the weekend, right? Go have some drinks if you're a drinker or whatever. Maybe you're just going to go to a coffee shop and enjoy some music. People do that. I'm just seeing a piano concert or a recital as well. Could be a graduation or something to do with it. Maybe a graduation over this weekend. Some of you might be attending. All right, that's it. Nothing else coming through. Oh, I just saw Taurus. I think I, that was Pisces, but it switched over to Taurus. Okay, so there you go. All right, you guys, I am gonna go eat <laughs> and go have some waffles. I hope you guys have a great freaking weekend. Um, whatever you're going to be doing and it let me just check and see if anybody joined the HOV if you haven't joined yet please become a member um, it's not an expense it's not expensive it's $2.99 per month you can cancel at any time you can cancel at any oh Joyce I, you guys got the names like Cyariel si Joyce Cyariel I think that's her name and I think Ms. Baker MS Baker so yeah you guys thank you for becoming new members of my channel for rejoining as well and yep you'll get cool badges emojis and shout outs all right time to go here comes the lawnmower I will see you guys back here on Sunday all right take care bye hey you guys thank you so much for watching my readings if you'd like to get a personal reading Please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.